Once upon a time, in a small, picturesque village nestled in the rolling hills of the countryside. There lived a humble postman named Samuel. This was a time long before the conveniences of modern technology, a time when letters were the threads that stitched together the fabric of communities and connected distant loved ones. Samuel was a man of simple pleasures. He donned a weathered brown uniform every morning, complete with a cap that had seen its fair share of sunrises. With a leather satchel slung over his shoulder and a whistle on his lips, he embarked on his daily journey to deliver letters, which he considered to be small parcels of love, joy, and news. His route meandered through cobblestone streets lined with thatched cottages adorned with colorful gardens. Each morning, Samuel's path would take him past Mrs. Thompson's white picket fence, where he would whistle a cheerful tune to announce his arrival. Mrs. Thompson, an elderly widow, awaited Samuel's visits eagerly. She would offer him a freshly baked scone, warm from the oven, and in return, Samuel would share stories of the far-off places he had heard of from the letters he carried. As Samuel continued his rounds, he would occasionally encounter children playing in the meadows, who would chase after him, asking if there were any letters for them. Samuel would produce colorful postcards sent by their grandparents or cousins from distant cities, igniting their imaginations and dreams of adventure. The village blacksmith, Mr. Jenkins, was another regular on Samuel's route. He would often receive business orders and invoices in his mailbox. Samuel would pause for a moment to chat with Mr. Jenkins about the village's latest news and would sometimes lend a hand in carrying heavy parcels back to the blacksmith's forge. One of Samuel's favorite stops was the local inn, where he would deliver bundles of newspapers. The inn's patrons would gather around, sipping ale and reading about the world's happenings. Samuel would regale them with tales of his own adventures, drawn from the snippets of stories he had overheard from the letters he delivered. But it was not all sunshine and smiles. Samuel also had the solemn duty of delivering news of loss and sorrow. When a black-bordered envelope arrived at a household, the entire village knew that a loved one had passed away. Samuel would approach such deliveries with utmost sensitivity, often staying to offer comfort and support to the grieving family. As the years went by, Samuel's hair turned silver, and his step grew a little slower, but his dedication to his job remained unwavering. He continued to traverse the village's charming lanes, bringing people together through the messages he carried. In the quiet moments between deliveries, Samuel found solace in the thought that he was not just a postman. He was a storyteller, a bearer of love and connection. In the olden days, when life was simpler, and handwritten letters were cherished, Samuel the postman played an integral role in his village. He was a guardian of memories, a conduit of emotions, and a symbol of the enduring power of human connection in a world that seemed to slow down and savor the beauty of each handwritten word.